I was curious, what was your history with the subject? I mean, have you had an interest in it prior? Did, um... Oh, I'd always wanted to see one. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess you everybody. could call me a believer, but I'm a little cynical because I haven't seen one. You right. Know, prove it to me. I want to see it. Do you know a lot of people up up north in the area you're from that have? I mean, have you talked to any other witnesses before at all? Or Well, I used to live almost all over this place. Right. And, right. That I didn't run across one. I don't know. Yeah. Do lots of cover. You could walk up there and disappear in about 20 yards. Right. We'd never find you. Right. Oh, well, yeah. I've been I've been through a lot of this area here. It's just lousy to climb. Oh, it is. Well, we have those, uh, we call it the leg breakers, the down redwoods, too. You step through those. Kind of well, I was going to ask down. you, too, did you, just out of curiosity, as I'm just, I always, I always ask uh, witnesses this, when you, um, when you first, how quick after... Uh, did you contact one of the Bigfoot groups? And, and I had talked to my friend from Ohio who runs uh, American Bigfoot group. Did you contact any other groups as far as even the one I'm, another one I'm in, BFRO? Or I how? think BFRO and Southern, Southern Oregon. Oh, okay. Autumn's place. Yeah, oh, yeah, Autumn. Yeah. Autumn Williams, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and it was pretty much the same. And I did it. Within the day after I got home, I think. Oh, okay. You know, so it was fresh. Yeah. <laughs> I can still hear them. They're in my head. And for a long time there, somebody banged on my door. <laughs> I'd go right out of my shoes. <laughs> I was spooked. I stayed spooked. How long after? When was the next time you came back here? I have. To really, oh, this is your first time back. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's been, what, about five weeks, huh? At least. Yeah, yeah, because it's, yeah. January 11th, I think it was. Then. Somewhere around there. Yeah. I don't pay much attention to the calendar. And then over the years, how, how frequent would you stop back and forth? Is it a weekly thing, bi-weekly, a couple times a week? It's sporadic. But no set schedules. When I worked out of Alder Camp, I stopped here a lot. Right. I'm not sure I'm going to stop here on my way back tonight, though, because it'll be after midnight. Right. And I, I usually do stop. But tonight, I don't know, I'll be thinking about it by the time I get here. Right. But I never take the freeway. I always go through the park. You have any, um, do you have any questions for us at all? You no, think? not really. You know, it's all pretty standard, I think. I mean, you're talking to somebody who was kind of on the edge of this bunch of crap, or is this for real? And I got kind of nudged over onto this is this is something else. Right, right. That one that come out of there, that was calculated to get rid of me. That was the last uh, last hit there. Yeah, I appreciate the last you, uh, one. Taking the time to come uh, and share it with us. No, well, you know I'm uh, happy to do it. Yeah. And it, anything else happens, I'm going to start lugging my digital camera with me. And if you ever come in here and you want to stop and hang out for a little bit, you may want to. Uh, set your camera behind you so you're not actually holding it and maybe be looking down this way and just have your camera running either uphill or vice versa. I'd leave that camera running uphill on top of your car. Just hang out here for a little bit once in a while when you're here. You know, record five minutes of footage just facing uphill with yeah. you not holding it. And uh, you never know. You know we just got to keep plugging away and hopefully get some answers soon. That's all we can do. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be doing some things to entice them a little bit and yeah, they they know I stopped. Oh, they're here. probably used to you coming by. Yeah, yeah. I really feel that it's gonna that it's a um, it's a brain you know the, the bigger brain capacity than us, but it's a different type of uh, where we're more of, from a technological aspect. I think they're more of a a memory brain, especially when it comes to foraging opportunities and and be masters of the yeah. territory they're in. They have less concerns than we do. Absolutely, absolutely. It's just but actually, it's the brain. same. We all want to eat. We all yeah, want to make. I think they you enjoy got... the entertainment too, because if you think about it, what do, what do all mammals have in common besides those those needs? They all play and need entertainment. Oh, like whether otters. it's dolphins or <laughs> no matter what it is. Or so what is what would Sasquatch do for a good time? Well, I don't suspect the people who take pee breaks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's no at this point in the game. We don't know. You know, I. I consider them, you know, intelligent animals at this point, but we really don't know enough. Uh, even those, even those of us that have seen one. Um, so I mean, I I treat it as, um, you know, they're obviously not going to know what a camera. I don't believe when people say, 
uh, you know, they know what a camera is. They know what a gun is. I mean, they may have an idea or it's that spat or whatever, but I, might, I think I think maybe just coming across as harmless as possible but still yeah, having the ammunition to do they, something about they it. You might come along with your intent. Right. You know, if you intend to just get out and putter around, that's one thing. But if you're pulling stuff out and loading yourself up and heading up the hill, that's... I think, my opinion is they, I think they want to uh, interact with us on their terms, which is usually going to be the vantage yeah, points. And the, we're not wired that way anymore. No. No, we're not. You know, I'd like to be able to speak Bigfoot, you know, but no. <laughs> Don't have the lungs for it. <laughs> yeah. Like That's I said, great. my life's different since that. Yeah. Any place I go now, I'm going to be just a little listening. Yeah, just pay attention and listen yeah, to the uh, background. That's that's the name of the Snap, game. crackle, pop is all it's going to, you know, if somebody's coming through the woods. Right. You cannot cross that without stepping on something. I don't think they care. Yeah. I mean, you know, if she wanted to just bound, bound, bound right down to the road, it would have just been, you know, really get out of here. So I don't know if, you know, I don't know anything about them. Right. But, um, but great. Well, thank you. Oh, hey, I really appreciate I'm it. I'm pleased to do it. And let's have another one. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, Maybe I will come back. <laughs>